Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to prep, load, and fire a crossbow. All this basically is, is that you have to put lube on your rails and your string so it has a better flight. And that's what this basically is. You just, you just put the lube on the rail, just like this, and you put a little bit on the string. It's kind of like lubing a um, bow, but it's just more work and you have to put a little bit more lube. And unlike with bows where you can just lube it once and you're pretty much done with this, you have to like put the lube on every three shots or every five shots. With me, I put this uh, put the lube on every five shots. So that's just pretty much prepping this thing to fire. Now that we're done prepping the crossbow, now let me teach you how to load. So first thing I need to do with mine at least is I gotta take this feature off. And the second thing I do is I take the crossbow and there's a little bar right there that you can see and that goes, your foot goes into that and you should be in this step right here. Once you are in this step, you grab these and, and you see a little groove right here what you do is you put that groove right here, which will help you pull this thing back. And then you grab the hooks and you hook them right here. So let me just do that real quick and I'll show you the final results. Here's what it should look like. The two hooks should be right there while the string is running along the crossbow into this groove. If the string is not in this groove, you're not going to be able to pull this back. Let me show you an example. So this is an example of what happens when you don't put the string into this groove right here. Even though I'm doing this with one hand, you're still going to get the same result with two hands. And it's just basically that. What just happens, that's what's going to happen. And I should hurry up so I don't put any stress. So let me just... Ah. This, hang on. Ah, that's better. But th basically that will just happen to your crossbow. Which does do damage to the string. It will cause stress to it. Which is really bad for your crossbow. And it will cost a lot of money to repair it. So again, this is the correct way how to put these strings on. Is that the hooks are right here. They run along the crossbow and into this groove. Once you're in this, you can finally pull back the string, which I can't do with just one hand, so just give me a second. Now my string is pulled back, and when you pull back the string, you can stop when you hear a click, which is just basically the string locking onto the mechanism. And now you can load in your bolt. A thing I forgot to mention is when you pull the string back and it locks into the mechanism, it automatically goes into safe mode. Now let me teach you how to load it. Just like with an arrow in the bow, there's an odd feather. And if you can see, there's a groove in the crossbow, and that is for the odd feather. So what you do is you put the odd feather in, and you go all the way back into the crossbow until you can't pull it back any further. So now it's locked and loaded. And firing this thing is just like firing a gun. You just take it out of the safety, and then you just aim and you shoot.